I'm at Sushi Samba, one of the best places for Japanese food in London. And you know I love Japanese food. It's that good, it's got a sake sommelier. Sake is a fermented alcoholic beverage made from rice. It's Japan's national beverage and it's one of my favorite tipples. I love it with Japanese, Mexican American and English food. People think sake is complicated, but it's not really. And I wanted to share how I drink it with you. So this is my quick fire guide to drink sake with your favorite foods. I've got three truly incredible sakis from different parts of Japan and I'm going to match them with some of my favourite dishes. First up, fish. Now I want to find the right sake to go with this and basically there are four different types of sake. There's full bodied, there's mature, there's light and smooth and then there's fruity. So let's taste the fish and work out which one's going to work the best with it. I've got scallops with black pudding, one of my favourite dishes. Mm, so good. I love scallops because they're meaty and with that little bit of lemon on there, it completely opens them up and you can just taste all the subtlety in there. So I think what I need with this is something that's going to complement that and work really well. Some notes of sweetness and some notes of lemon would work like a treat. Well, I've got just the thing. Right, I've got this fruity number from central Japan. Now you're probably asking yourself, why am I putting it in a champagne flute? Why isn't it in one of those porcelain flats, the traditional way to serve them? Well, the Japanese serve them in champagne flutes all the time. And what's great about that is it accentuates the natural flavors and you can appreciate the aroma of the sake because the glass pushes it up into your nose. Oh, that is just so, light and zingy, and I can get some nice fruit in there, more sort of citrus fruit. That is just happiness in a glass. You've got a slight bit of thyme in there, you've got a lemon, a sort of yuzu that's just coming through beautifully, and it will complement the scallops. Oh, that's brilliant. Those two together, it's just joy. This is like spring in a glass, and this is like the freshest ingredients from the sea, and together, they're great. A sirloin steak cooked on the bone. I mean, like, is there anything better? Oh, robust, meaty, hearty. The beef fat in there is so Moorish, all over the palate, real depth. We're gonna need a big sake to stand up against this, and I've got it. This is a full-bodied sake from the north of the country. Being full-bodied means that it's going to be quite robust. It's going to be able to stand up to the meatiness of the, of the red meat. Wow, that really has got a kick to it. It's actually more like spirit than it is wine, if you like. Oh, wow, that's, that's quite whiskey. -y. It really packs a punch. It's not messing around. That completely has dominated my palate. And now I go in with some more beef big powerful flavors absolutely delicious a sake like that's gonna go great with red meat uh, barbecue anything that's got a sort of dark or a smoky texture or flavor to it really good now some of you guys will know that you can serve sake cold at room temperature or even hot um, the hot sakis tend to come from cold places such as this up in the north where it's cold, they heat it up to really release the natural flavor of the sake. I'm serving this one cold, it goes really well with the steak, but you could serve it warm. Right, finally, what about some cold cured meats? Things like a burrico ham or salami. Like who doesn't love artisan cured meats? Depth the flavor in there is really robust. That is just delicious. So we're gonna need quite a robust sake to stand up to these flavors, and I've got just the ticket.
Right, now I'm really excited about this number. This is from uh, the east of Japan. It's a matured sake, so it will stand up well to this. It should have a really good depth of flavor and a strong aroma. Now there's three things that you're looking for when you taste sake. First one is the color. The second one is the aroma. And the third one is the taste. Oh, wow. Oh, those two work so well together. That is just, out of all the three, these are the two that you just, you wanna do. You know, that has got, it's like an alcoholic spring water. It just refreshes your palate. And then you've got this real depth of flavor and you have the ham and then you have some sack and it resets your palate, cleans it all up, gets you ready to go in with the ham again. That's great. So there you go. That's my guide to get starting with sake. Hopefully you found it useful. For me, I think it's good to throw caution to the wing, to not respect convention, and just mix things up. Sake goes wicked with a burger, or with a steak, or with fish. So maybe order it at the end of your meal just to try a glass, or speak to the sommelier and get a bit of guidance. Hope you liked it. Sayonara.